Welcome to your April 2020 tarot reading and happy birthday to the Aries Suns out there watching. So guys, I'm going to start out this month with an oracle card from the Whispers of Nature because we do have a bit of change going on as far as nature, okay, the weather outside. And I like to pull these cards out in the spring. So we're going to pull an oracle card to start the reading just to give us kind of a little bit of an additional message that may help you this month, Aries. And then we're going to get into the tarot cards, okay? So let me just give these a little bit more of a shuffle. I haven't used these cards in a while, so definitely wanted to awaken them. And we are going to read from the book from these cards, you guys. So let's see what comes out for you, Aries. What's going on for Aries for April 2020? Please just give me one solid card. Something that Aries needs to know. Aries. What is the message for Aries? Sun, moon, and rising for April 2020. Okay. Ooh. We have one card coming out, and it is the card of contemplation, Aries. So we've got some deep thinking going on here. Some of you guys could be dealing with Leo because I do see um, lions. You know, you could be dealing with a Scorpio or maybe you have Leo and Scorpio energy somewhere in your chart. Bottom of the deck is amplify your positive emotions. So Aries, look at that beautiful card. While you're contemplating in April about whatever it is you're contemplating about, make sure that um, you are paying attention to positive emotion, which lets me know some of you guys may be struggling with negative emotion as you contemplate all right so let's go ahead and read from the book and see what this contemplation card is all about so far i just see almost a daydreaming energy aries okay i mean yeah there's a lot going on in april i know some of you guys aren't spending your birthdays exactly as you may have planned say four or five months ago but um let's go ahead and check on page tw 20 well it's card 29 on page 46 some of you guys may be turning those ages so contemplation Got it. so enjoy your own company Aries this is a wonderful time for you to reorganize and consider the things you enjoy most in your life Make a point of spending a little time allowing your mind to wander away from the everyday concerns that occupy your time. Give yourself an opportunity to be inspired. Ruminate on your inner voice and listen to your own counsel. Wow, this gives me a very hardcore Aries vibration. A lot of independence I'm picking up on there. We're going to leave that card right there just for me to refer back onto. And you know, the next card would be the adventure card Aries. So there may be something about that, but you know, a lot of a lot of the Aries I know um, are very independent, solitary creatures. I know some of you guys can get um, I don't know if lonely is the right word to use, but it can just get a little boring. You know what I'm saying? Um, living on your own or spending your birthday on your own, but you know. What I'm seeing is that there is this energy surrounding something you're contemplating. I think there's something you guys are thinking about changing, some kind of ending and beginning that you know, like whatever you're contemplating, and no wonder there's a need here to, to focus on positive emotion, right? Because sometimes we can get swept away with, um, when we start daydreaming, you know what I mean? If we can't obtain a certain thing that we're contemplating about, we'll start to feel negative about that. So there's, there's nothing negative here, Aries. There's a beautiful transformation taking place. I'm really getting an indication of the of the strength card. If you can see that little detail there, that woman and that lion, there's at least three or four lions in this picture and lots of birds and butterflies. I think they're just butterflies actually. So I feel like that's strength and transformation. Okay, so definitely Scorpio and, and Leo energy that may be important. And also you may be deeply contemplating on the 29th of April. That may be an important day for you guys. So Aries, um, these are absolutely new tarot cards that I'm using. I think they're beautiful for the spring. I did shuffle your energy and I do have the Emperor card here. Okay, so this is your energy for April. I'm going to briefly check the cards behind you, but I do want to let you know, I saw a lot of Six of Cups, Page of Cups, 
energy um, as I was shuffling for you before recording, okay? So I feel like there may be like either this, a strong energy of a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This may be your own emotion if you don't have that energy around you. Um, but I feel like there's a new soulmate connection or a child. Six of Cups, Page of Cups. Definitely maybe someone coming back from the past or if it's someone new, it's a very strong soulmate connection. Almost a friendship with you know, a little bit of emotion there and maybe attraction. But yeah, Aries, let's get into it. So behind you as the Emperor, we have the Eight of Swords, the Chariot, and the King of Pentacles, the King of Cups. So we got two men here. There may be same-sex uh, couples out there watching. Um, we have the Chariot, which is Cancer energy. We've got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, um, and cancer specifically so you guys could be dealing with those now this is about moving forward though there may be a vehicle here and some kind of stability with a vehicle with a car um but aries the card right behind you before you get to these new beginnings is this is the card behind you for april okay so some of you guys are stuck in your head now this is a contemplation card we already know that you're contemplating deeply this is just a little bit of a different de depiction of how that contemplation should go S if so you say um don't focus on those positive emotions like the bottom of your deck was saying. So this is how contemplation can go if you don't keep in mind um, positivity and inspiration, right? But this is definitely that energy of being on your own, maybe feeling a little stuck in your head about how to move forward, how to focus and harness this energy and be in control. Maybe there's something here about stability, security. We do have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn man. This is a Taurus and a Scorpio to me, a Capricorn or a Cancer. Could definitely be Pisces or Virgo too, but I definitely get... Uh, fixed and cardinal energy here Scorpio Taurus Cancer Capricorn this could be Virgo now we have a Virgo coming in maybe with an apology this may be a uh, slow financial energy I know a lot of us are waiting on that especially when it comes to, for you to be walking away Aries from something that didn't serve you yeah there is a Virgo present here we have the hermit or this card is quite popular around this time because we're in isolation and solitude and that's the kind of vibe I'm picking up on for you, Aries, anyway, is for you to embrace this time alone. Okay, we have a significant choice. Gemini Virgo energy here. But I do see you guys moving away from a connection. An ex, maybe. Um, we have the Six of Swords. Okay, you're moving on to calmer waters to reflect on your choices that you've made or that you have to still make. Yeah, we have two cards of walking away. Now, this could be on the full moon in Libra. I haven't even talked about astrology yet, but we did have a new moon in Aries and a full moon in Libra. The new moon was around the 24th of last month um you know march 24th and then we had a libra full moon in your seventh house of relationships on april 8th so as an aries right now especially aries rising there's a lot of relationship completions taking place because of that full moon in your opposite sign libra okay so someone here is slowly walking away maybe from something that was you know it's moving even slower than you Aries and there's an apology here there's like a slow offer it may have something to do with a water sign or love but we have love and stability here and how you're gonna move forward okay victoriously this may be an obstacle for for you some of you guys money may be an obstacle and because of that you're a little bit stuck feeling trapped in your head okay so please 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 Aries do not forget to stay in touch with your emotions in April, okay, in order to move forward. Because one of your obstacles is going to be feeling trapped, okay, feeling like you don't know the way out. But this is self-imprisonment. Um, Aries, you do rule the self. You do rule the I am. You guys are really strong. So please consider the ways that you are keeping yourself trapped in situations. In way, It may just be a way of thinking, okay. You're going to need to focus on the way forward, okay. So, let's go ahead and give these cards a shuffle. They do shuffle a little bit differently, Aries, but they're br brand new, which I think is a great energy to start with uh, within the springtime. So, this is for Aries for April 2020. Please give me a six-card spread. Okay. We have two cards coming out. We have the strength card. <laughs> okay, so someone here is definitely dealing with Leo and Scorpio energy, as I picked up on with the uh, butterflies in the, in the lion card. Look, we have the strength card here very much illustrated in a completely different deck over here so 
Leo for sure, and then Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Uh, this is the Scorpio card for me. So I definitely am picking up on Leo, Scorpio. That may be somebody's moon or rising, or if you're a cross watcher, that may be your sun or something like that. But aside from Leo, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy, this is talking about somebody who's trying to tame the their feelings. Who's, someone who's trying to stay in control of how they feel. It might involve love. The King of Cups is filled with love and intuition. This is masculine energy here. And this could be feminine energy. Okay, someone here is really trying to tame themselves and hold themselves back from, you know, being a beast. Um, doing something uncontrollably or un unattainably. Okay, um, maybe being held back a little bit from love. I do see there may be... A Leo here with a lot of love or someone here may be holding their self back from them um, from like there's just someone here who's I got to get more cards guys but yeah there's somebody here who's being held back emotionally or they're holding their love back they're trying to tame their emotions bottom of the deck is the Queen of Pentacles so this might involve a Taurus Virgo Capricorn this is feminine energy but anyone can have feminine energy this is uh, a wife a mother someone who's stable cooks cleans and even if they're not an actual mother or wife, uh, they have the stability to be so. All right, and underneath that Queen of Pentacles, we have the Four of Pentacles. So this is about someone who's holding their values very close to their chest, okay? Their stability, their foundation, their, their worth and their value. Someone knows their worth and value here, metaphorically and literally. So that might be uh, more information as to why someone is holding their self back from love and emotion. Someone here is just taming their self and trying to be very emotionally mature. Someone here could also feel a little held back from a water sign or by a water sign or by their own emotions, you know what I mean? Someone here could kind of wear their emotions on their sleeve in April. Um, but let's see, let's continue here. What else do we have for Aries? What else do we have for Aries for April 2020? Aries energy, sun, moon, and rising. Now, this was almost a message that came out, but it flipped right back in. So someone here is hanging on, again, trying to save that money, really hanging on tightly to something here. But the thing is, is they don't want to fight anymore. The Five of Swords is an argument, a little bit of mind games going on. And there's that page of cups that kept showing up before I started recording. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, new love. This might be someone you work with. If those of you guys who are still in work, we've got the King of Wands. That's you, Aries, in masculine form. Some of you guys are focused on an ending. You could be dealing with another Aries or a father figure or a boss, authority. This may have something to do with work, you guys, or a father figure. Okay, we've got the King of Pentacles again. Moving forward financially, there are financial obstacles, Aries, and there may be a Leo or Sagittarius here as well, masculine. There's a fire sign here who's went through some kind of ending with you, or you've went through this, okay? And that might be why there's some kind of apology here, like, hey, can we work on this? Can we work together? There may be a third party. This may be a new lover coming in that wants to work on things, but the question is, Aries, is if you're going to hang on to something that's causing you conflict in life. Okay, because someone here is hanging on to an argument. This might be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. There may be an argument and an apology. Someone's still holding on, wanting to work on things. Let's let something come all the way out, though. Aries, April 2020. Okay, that was quite an um, explosion. Make sure the camera's still recording. So, um, some of you guys are really feeling kind of disappointed and that is causing you guys to see your future in a very especially when it comes to career and stability in the home environment there's a decision there because something's ended you want a new beginning okay with a fire sign or a water sign i got leo pisces um some of you guys may be struggling to feel satisfied emotionally okay there needs to be a, some kind of there may be a younger fire sign here um, there is a Taurus here that you're going through some kind of battle and defense with, but there's going to be something new communicated to you. The cards that came out for your reading, though, Aries, we got two more. Your cards are coming out in doubles. We have the Three of Swords and the Temperance. So there is a heartbroken Sagittarius here that may be important. Um, there's a third party Sagittarius, uh, a Sagittarius you need to have a heart to heart conversation with. Maybe there's a Sagittarius X or uh, someone who linked to betrayal or loss in some way. But if you're not dealing with a Sag, if you don't have Sagittarius energy, Aries, then this is talking about someone who needs to stay patient. Um, someone who's heartbroken and needs to stay patient and um, 
especially when it comes to healing heartbreak. Honestly, that's what I'm feeling. If someone here is healing from heartbreak, someone here may already, they just broke up with someone. And I'm feeling the energy of the person who you're broken up with, Aries, they may quickly move on and that may be heartbroken. You may quickly move on and that may break someone else's heart. But no wonder someone here is taming their love and emotion, being balanced, maybe not expressing all that they feel because you don't really know how you feel in April. And this could have been how you felt coming into April, um, t really tamed and, and almost moderate and docile. I'm getting a very docile energy here. Someone has tamed the beast of their emotion, meaning that you're not as quick to respond or react as you, you used to be. Maybe the new moon helped you. Maybe the full moon in Libra helped you really tame um, your energy when it comes to the access other people have to you, Aries. So there is a, a, a story here for some of you guys where there's a third party um, and you're trying to heal and be patient until someone else is broken up with. Someone here may be in a relationship, whether it's you or someone you're interested in. But honestly, yeah, someone here is just healing from a third party, healing from loss, betrayal. It doesn't have to be just romantic and relationship-wise, you guys. But there's a need to focus on what you want, Aries, what would emotionally fulfill you. Okay, tell me more for Aries. What do we got for Aries for April 2020? And we have two more cards coming out. Wow, all your cards are coming out 222. And that does happen sometimes, you guys. Hopefully you guys can see. Jesus. Let's see here if I can move this back anymore. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, this is interesting. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Cups, by the way. That Six of Cups was really a featured card for you when I was shuffling. So there is something new coming in. There's going to be some kind of a turning point, Aries. At some point in April, I feel the first two weeks. Now, as I record this, it is April 15th. Actually, it's April 16th which some of you guys may be actually have be celebrating birthdays today. So happy birthday to you if you are. So I don't know when this is going to be, Aries. The Wheel of Fortune is kind of, it kind of depends on karma and fortune and fate, those kind of things. But when this card shows up in a reading, you can best believe that everything is turning and changing. So for those of you guys who have ex already experienced a water sign or emotional, um, taming and maybe trying to heal from heartbreak or you know the things we've already talked about that's gonna that's gonna initiate a huge turning point um good luck and fortune you could be dealing with an aquarius a scorpio a taurus a leo but here's the thing is this change is all linked to something in your past like a memory you know this is very nostalgic uh this may not be the first time the wheel has turned in this way for you like there's some kind of fortune here from your past or some kind of soulmate fortune. It may be in re regards to a child or a memory or you may revisit like, I know it's kind of hard to travel right now and be around groups of people, you guys, but this is, there's only two or three people in this car, one, two of which are young. Maybe one of them are you. This could be your inner child. There may be travel here to a, a, a childhood um, a city or home, like just a place that you travel that have, has a lot of memories. Like you may go to a certain house that you grew up in as a child. Now the bottom of the deck for this though is the Ace of Pentacles. So something at some point in April, I do feel like this is closing in on like the the set the, the end of the first two weeks, and we're gonna head into the the second half of April. Okay, there's gonna be something you need that comes into you, Aries. It may be offered to you, it may be found, it may be bought or sold, but you can hold it in your hand. It's tangible. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. It might be that stimulus check that some of us are looking into. You never know, okay? Some of you may have children, and this may this may involve change with them. But yeah, there's there's something here that, that you need, and it's going to allow you to stand up for yourself. It's going to allow you to choose um, a path of growth instead of comfort. And this has everything to do with why you were stuck in your head, because you had to strategize your way out victoriously. This, this might involve sneaking or cheating or lying. Um, maybe you were stuck in your head about that. Strong air energy thoughts and communication surrounding this. But you're standing up for yourself, freeing yourself. You're, you're going to receive something you need in, in order to make a choice between two things you're passionate about. Okay, You've been stuck in a portal, Aries, and some of you guys just need money or security, a new beginning to get yourself out of wherever you've been trapped at uh, the first half of April. Okay, so let's see. What else do we have for Aries for April 2020? Aries, April 2020. Some of you guys may have slight headaches. I just felt an odd sensation in my left temple. So I don't know what that's about. Now, I just stopped shuffling because of that. And, and we got the high priestess. So 
<clears throat> you guys could be dealing with a Pisces, a Cancer, but look here. All of that shuffling just for those cards to stay. All those cards I just showed you, Aries, that Ace of Pentacles, how you were strapping your head, that, that decision. You're going to make a decision to stand up for yourself. Okay, get yourself out of this Eight of Swords. You're going to drop a burden. Okay, you're going to have to follow your intuition, though. You don't know this, Aries. The High Priestess is telling me that this new beginning in April is kind of, it hasn't been revealed to you until maybe the full moon in Scorpio. Maybe, you know, this is the moon's energy. So you may want to watch uh, your moon sign reading to get more information because there's just something here. I stopped shuffling and here we go. Like, this is unknown. Like, a, you didn't really know, but follow your intuition about this new beginning. It's like a golden opportunity. Out comes the Knight of Pentacles. So, yeah, this is something that took s slow time. Like, this is all about being steady and stable. This is a messenger, though. It's just a slow messenger. It's Virgo energy. We have another knight at the bottom of the deck, though. You. This is Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This is Sagittarius, first and foremost. So we've got a Virgo and a Sagittarius here, specifically, that may be important. Or this is the slow and the fast. You know what I'm saying? Like, the reason why you're going slow, Aries, because this is the card that came out for you. This is the card that is telling me more about why this card came out for you. And honestly, I think it's because someone is inconsistent, whether this is you, because this could definitely be your, you, Aries, as a fire sign. This is a passionate message coming in that took its sweet time. Another message I'm getting here, though, is someone here is moving slow because this has been inconsistent with a certain person, place, or thing. You know, it's in and out. Like, one minute it's passionate. One minute there may be intimacy and sex. And then the next moment, everything runs cold and slow like a statue, like someone isn't moving here. But wow, there is a passionate message coming in in regards to home, uh, emotional fulfillment, family, relationships. And look, this is this has more to do with what you don't know as that high priestess. Is the Ace of Pentacles still behind her? It is. So this offer, although unknown, it may be, you may keep it secret. Some of you may keep your money a secret and maybe uh, you... you you put it into some kind of home or family situation. Um, your own emotional fulfillment, though, is what this is. It may help you complete something. You want to follow your intuition about, <clears throat> excuse me, what would emotionally fulfill you. So you're moving slow until it's time to charge. And you're waiting on this, this opportunity here. Okay? And it all has to do with a decision between whether you're going to continue to be in comfort, plan inside your comfort zone, Aries, or if you're going to rock this out and do uh you know the unthinkable do something that would be an adventure you know remember this card was very close to the adventure card you're about to go on an adventure it's just you needed some time to contemplate you needed some time to think okay so i just totally sounded like i was from canada so i wonder if some of you guys are from canada or if that's anything of worth mentioning <laughs> um so yeah four of swords is coming out and it has a lot to do with that Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, there's an energy here, just what I just said, moving slow. You know, this also has to do with your day-to-day -day routine, you know, working hard, being practical, keeping that same tempo up, never missing a beat, like moving slower, but continuously, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is a very practical. This could be a person in your life or a quality that you're taking on in order to heal, in order to rest. Here's another contemplation card. Okay, this is literally sleeping, resting. I mean, this is a card that I, I do expect to come out a lot in April because a lot of us are just chilling. But this is also a card of meditation. This is also a card of prayer. So there's a need to move slower so that you can heal and rest, Aries. Especially when the Four of Swords is coming up this close to the Three of Swords. You know, again, there, this moving slow energy may be the way that you're holding yourself back emotionally. But it, rightfully so, you know, you're moving a bit slower because you're holding yourself back from expressing emotion just yet until you've contemplated, until you have clarity. Because some of you guys, again, you're going through breakups, you're going through heartbreak, you're going through sorrow and sadness. And, you know, some of you guys may need to take a look at moderation, okay? Be careful of too much smoking, too much drinking, too much eating, too much sleeping, anything like that. Because overindulgence can break you this month Aries but you know everything is changing especially in regards to soulmate energy especially in regards to memories and things in your past your childhood somewhere you traveled in your childhood that may be something but you're healing okay slowly healing okay this is a practical healing that someone here is healing their self and resting by moving a bit slower you know what I mean page of swords at the bottom here though so someone here is meditating praying resting sleeping 
healing from heartbreak, being patient. There's something here, Aries, your vibration is, I don't feel any impulsiveness. I feel like other people are being impulsive, okay? Not you, because your energy is very patient, okay, for sure. You're contemplating, but there is this energy here. This might be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone here may, I don't know, wow, I don't know why I'm hearing that. I'm watching you sleep. Okay, because we have the Forest Lord, which is someone sleeping, but we also have the Page of Swords. I don't want to creep anybody else. Whoever that message was for, you will know who that, who that's for. Because someone here may spy on you um, while you're sleeping, or they may, they may look like, yeah, you may do some spying while someone is sleeping. The Page of Swords is an investigator, so there may be some kind of investigation going on in the meditation realms or um, in your sleep. Some of you guys are deeply contemplating about some kind of truth that you need to know about something that comes to you, some kind of news that comes, maybe your phone goes off when you're asleep towards the end of April or the start of the second half. Again, there may be some spying that you do um, while someone is sleeping or, or whatever. I don't know what this is. After you heal, okay, maybe there's some kind of information or news that comes to you in the form of truth that actually allows you to heal. But this is a spy, an investigator, someone who needs to find a new way to communicate something. Maybe that's what someone's doing here. Like, As you rest and contemplate uh, this month, Aries, you are finding new truth and you're finding a new way to communicate your feelings. Now, there's someone here with feelings for you, Aries, that is keeping an eye on you. I'm getting water energy or air energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone here is keeping an eye on new love. That could be you, Aries while you rest and you're moving slower you're resting and healing but you've got your eye on a new energy now this could be self-love this could be the energy of a child but this is ultimately what you've invested in you know what i mean a person you may have already invested in after you make that choice between comfort and growth you're going to have a lot to look forward to maybe even capricorn energy okay it might even be lust it might be a soulmate wow we have pluto and capricorn coming out very strongly for you and that is a, a transit right now maybe this is involving a virgo but yeah pluto and capricorn is squaring you aries we just went through pluto squaring the sun so no wonder there's a lot of butterflies and transformation for you because there's a lot of deep subconscious purging going on with, when it comes to who you are so there may be a an important phone call there may be toxic people from the past or someone someone here in the situation may be bound to something whether it's you or someone else keep your eye out for important phone calls okay some of you guys are anxious waiting on second chances and rebirth okay but there's a resurrection here just be careful because there may be something toxic okay but that's why you guys are going to be inquiring more doing your research so yeah definitely a new love okay old investments new love let's see what comes out for the end of april for you aries now this is when we enter taurus season i want to pause here because this is actually a taurus card it could be virgo and capricorn <clears throat> but this this part of the reading is very much so the second half of april when we move into your second house now this is first house energy you know, going through your first house, Aries, this is who you are, your personality, how you're seen. That's changing, you know what I'm saying? Now, Taurus season, your second house, is definitely going to bring in some financial energy, okay? That's going to be a thing. I stopped shuffling at the Queen of Pentacles, all right? So there's definitely that Taurus energy, okay? Yeah, look at this. You guys have a little bit of anxiety in Taurus season when it comes to hanging on. Some of you guys are definitely going through endings to jobs, okay? There may even be something here with a car, some kind of ending with a car, or maybe a cancer. Someone here may have Mercury and Cancer. Um, there's a friendship here. There is a third party, Aries, whatever that means. It doesn't always have to be a person or someone who's, like, cheating or something like that. There's just a third element to consider that has affected your relationships. But this here looks like an ending where someone here feels left out in the cold. They may feel homeless or abandoned. They may feel just conflicted at a financial level okay there's a lot of anxiety because of this no wonder you're being told to heal because this right here is someone who's not getting rest someone who has sleepless nights nightmares anxieties probably because like this right here is dark night of the soul type shit but just keep focused aries okay this all has something to do with money that needs to be saved uh, a wife um, a mother someone who needs stability security someone who needs to know their own worth someone who needs to hang on tightly to value because of some kind of anxiousness so let's check it out what is going on for the end of april for aries i don't know if you guys can hear that banging but 
someone's probably working on their roof or some bullshit like that. Out comes the nine of swords. So yeah, there's a there's a difference here between um, you know getting your rest, slowing down your mental foundation, and not you know this is literally two opposite cards. We talked about the four of swords and how healing that is, but be very careful, okay? Because we've got some anxiety here that you're gonna might be experiencing um, at the end of April. Maybe it's in regards to your own security, being single, self-sufficient, financial independence. We have the moon card. This may be something you're afraid of, Aries. This may be something that involves a little bit of darkness or subconscious energy. We have um, the lovers here too. So someone here is single, yet there's a secret lover. And I feel it's one of those things where it's like you just spent so long with somebody that you feel kind of moosey. Like you don't want to just jump into a new relationship. So you're like, mm, I bet I heal. I bet I heal first, you know. <laughs> so there is a new water sign coming your guys' way. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, I see feminine energy. It might be someone with a child. I see a woman and a child here. Two water signs. Younger water sign. This person may have regrets and apologies. Okay, but yeah, definitely Pisces, Cancer, maybe and we had Scorpio show up too. This is basically just someone who can match um, the emotions that you were holding back. They may come in your life and make you feel like, oh, this person has emotion too. They're the, the counterparts. But this person, or this is you, Aries, there's definitely regrets here. That's why people close off emotionally anyways, because they were they they shared their emotion with somebody once before and it wasn't matched you know so someone here is afraid to make a decision there may be a secret decision you need to make intuitively between two people pisces gemini energy gemini moon but yeah someone here is having anxiety about uh being stable we got two nines here okay so you're you're really on the verge of completing whatever this is that you're anxious about stay patient aries this isn't this is anxiety, you know, maybe the person you broke up with or whatever, you know, you've got them on your mind at the end of April, but you're healing this anxiety, okay? You're healing your worries by contemplating on your own stability and being independent. Let's get you one more card, Aries, to symbolize the very end of April. What's going on for the end of April? Show me the very end of April for Aries. It was almost the that Ace of Pentacles. I'm, like, I'm going to get that for you guys because that card really wanted to come out. So don't be anxious. This money is coming, this new beginning, this tangible value, whatever it is you need that, that you've been going without that has caused you anxiety. You've prayed for this. You've been really anxious. Someone here is anxiously praying um, for something. I don't know what it is, but I hear a lot of anxious prayers and you're very worried. So you're praying and uh, this is something you need coming in. Okay, that, that card has come up a lot for you guys. And look, eight of swords at the bottom because you're stuck in your head. You're not this is something you need in order to free you from your from a prison you've kept yourself trapped in. This is why everything is changing as well. Um, and it might involve a Taurus Virgo Capricorn or um, a working man. Okay, we have Aries Leo Sagittarius as well. There's a new love here that you're focused on as a fire sign. Equal give and take. There may be a gift that is given to you. Okay. But yeah, you're going to be freed. So let's get you one more Aries. Very, very ending of April. Give me one card for the very ending of April 2020 for Aries. Show me the end of April for Aries. Wow. The Nine of Cups. So yeah, don't worry about a thing. Every little thing is going to be alright. Okay? Because there's something that is very satisfying and emotionally fulfilling to you that is coming in a new beginning and this is not just something you're going to feel it's tangible it's very tangible and i'm hearing like a hammer that this whole reading so it's like it's going to allow you to work on something okay it's going to allow you to build something it this may change everything it may be involved it's coming right here so i don't know if this is a soulmate someone who returns from the past children but it, you in april very satisfied because of some kind of lump sum of money or golden opportunity, you know, be very careful of this anxious energy. If you're anxious about heartbreak or something like that, just meditate, rest, give yourself a mental break, move a bit slower, Aries. Bottom of the deck is you, the fool, okay? This is a very beautiful energy for the springtime. So your energy, Aries, there, there's an energy here of the whole entire month of April that talks about risk. Look at that. Some of you guys may be dealing with an Aries because we have your card. Wow. 
some of you guys may have like double Aries energy in your chart because this is two Aries right here. Aries is ready to take a risk at the end of April. You're low-key ready to make this jump the entire month, but it's just about timing. You're waiting for something to end, possibly mentally. You're waiting to change your mind. You're waiting for something to end with a narcissist or someone who's kind of cold, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, and there's going to be a completion here to an energy where you were unsatisfied emotionally like there's a communication here that may change something there may be an ending mentally or you know we already have mental transformation you're thinking about changing something but you know the most thing that you could do right here Aries and your power is to take a risk make a leap of faith start a complete new beginning April is a hidden new beginning for you Aries it seems risky at times but it's great so I just want to thank you guys so much for listening if this resonated and you'd like a personal reading, please check my description box and get a hold of me through email. We can talk more about um, how to set up a personal reading right now with me. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, everything you need to know is in the description. But I do check all the comments, guys. I love your comments. And other than that, I hope you guys are having great birthdays, Aries, Aries sons out there. And I will check you guys again in May. Bye.